everyone and welcome to Senior Susie Stamps. I'm Julia Laird and I'm so glad you're here um, joining me today. I need to make some get well cards for, for um, one of our missions at church. Uh, we deliver a chicken pot pie to people that are coming home from the hospital and the lady that is the chairperson of that committee let me know the other day that she was running short of get well cards. So I made several quickly and sent to her, um, but I wanted to make some more today. And this is a very, very simple, quick, easy card to make. Um, and I wanted to show you today with some things that I have gotten in Happy Mail recently. I got this beautiful uh, paper in a pack. Let me pull it, hang on. Called Ombre by Panalisa. And it's absolutely stunning paper. Uh, and I, I so appreciate happy mail that comes in and I try to use it in uh, in my videos as much as I can but this is particularly beautiful paper and I wanted to feature that paper so I came up with this little card design and you can see how the paper completely runs the show here and how easy and quick this card's going to be to make. So we're going to tear a strip off and I'm going to use my tear ruler for that. Uh, and here's another example. And it's the same basic card format. This little piece of die cut came in some other Happy Mail. So this is, these are Happy Mail cards today. <laughs> but you can see how quick and easy these little cards are to make. Now, I'm using an A2 size card base. And I keep them over here. So let me just pull two of them out. And I'm going to continue with the lateral um, style uh, with a fold on the top on these today. And it would be tempting to go ahead and cut this down to uh, five and a half by four and then do the tear. But what happens is when you're doing your tear, if you only have this little teeny strip to tear with, it's a real challenge. So a better way to do that is to set your paper up and what I usually do is decide which piece I want to use and I think I'll use this section of this paper and then I put a little strip of ATG on the back of it and I use my um, mat here to line it up square and then that ATG locks it in for me nicely and then I can take my ruler and set it and I, in this particular card I put my glue on the wrong side sorry hang on on this particular card I want to take the the green side off so I want this to be three and five eighths and I'm going to use my grid mat to help me line my ruler up and I'm just eyeballing from here to here and here to here on this ruler. It does not have to be exact. And then I'm just going to tear. And I'm putting a lot of pressure on this ruler and I'm just tearing up against it. And then I can cut this piece down to five and a half or I can just glue it on and trim off. I'll go ahead and cut it down five and a half. It just makes it a little easier um, in the end result. And then I'm going to take a piece off of this and I'm going to leave myself an inch and three quarters strip that I find to be very usable. So there's the pieces to make the card. I have some other pieces over here left from these other two cards and I'll be working up a little, uh, some little cards out of these later on this week. And I'll either do a little video or I'll show you those over on the Facebook page. So I want to cut this down to five and a half as well. And then it's just a matter of gluing it down on the paper. And I'm going to use my Books by Hand PVA glue. Now I have gone ahead and made the focal points today. 
uh, just to help a little bit with some time. But there are some things that I would like to show you um, on these little focal points that are uh, maybe something you might not have seen before. Or you might have. <laughs> it just depends. So these just glue down flat. On this Books by Hand PVA glue, it doesn't take a lot. And um, it doesn't whelp your paper like some of the other glues might, which makes it kind of handy. And then I'm just going to set this right on the very top edge of that card and leave my little white strip showing down there at the bottom. Now I'm going to go in uh, with my scissors if I need to trim anything off. And it looks like there's a tiny bit right here that needs to come off the back. And perhaps just a tiny bit right there. There we go, and that just cleans that card up nicely. So now, let me show you on these. This is a stamp uh, from Hero Arts. And it's called a Get Well Soon Bouquet E2094. I have gotten this stamp used. Um, I don't know if it's still available or not. But it has a little roll back on these top flowers. So if you're not careful and, and if you don't roll your stamp off like that, you kind of lose the top edge of those flowers. You can see right here where the ink didn't completely fill out. It doesn't matter. So now the question is which of these little embellishments uh, do we want to use? And I think I kind of like this green one a little better. Now let me tell you about this little teen -itesy, um tie that I made for the flowers. It was very simple to do. It's just a half hitch knot. Um, just like the first little knot you make when you're tying your shoes or making a bow of any kind. And then I have pulled my knot up to the center and trimmed my tails off for a starting point. So there you can see it now. And then I've taken my tweezers and pulled the baker's twine apart. And that makes it kind of a frayed look to it. There. You can see the difference now. And then I've gone back in and just trimmed it down to however long um, I wanted it. And it makes a nice little tiny, tiny uh, tie where you could imagine that these flowers were tied up with a little piece of string then. Now I'm going to put some foam on the back of this. And it doesn't take a great big lot of foam on the back of these. This piece is two inches by two and a half. There we go. And then I have a wishing you a speedy recovery that I will stamp on the inside of this card. If I remember correctly, this stamp does not stamp exactly square. I really should mark which side it doesn't stamp on correctly. So let me do a little pre-stamp here. That's always useful to do. Yeah, I think it rides a little low on the right side there. So let me try to compensate a little bit with that. And there we go. Now, I need a little embellishment to go with this. And I have um, a couple of little ribbons and ties and some little flowers. But since I used my gold pen on those flowers, it doesn't really quite work very well. So let me get some gold paper and I'll be right back. There we go. I have a little Stampin' Up! punch here. It's a five-sided flower. And I'm just going to punch three little flower shapes out. Well, actually, I'm going to do four. 
do one for the inside. And then I want to look for some kind of center. Let's see. I have some tiny little flower uh, embellishments here. I don't remember where I got these. I think I got them from eBay. But somebody may have sent me these in Happy Mail as well. That's entirely possible. And I actually, the more I think about it, the more I think that's right. I think these came in Happy Mail. So these are truly Happy Mail cards today. <laughs> and I thank you for that. So let's do those four because they're kind of green. Uh, we'll go together. The green doesn't exactly match, but I think that'll be all right. I'm going to put just a tiny little bit of shape on these flowers. And I'm going to use that with my end of my jewel picker here and just kind of give it just a tiny little bit of shape that's all I want and then I'll nestle that little tiny jewel flower down in the center of these and it'll perk these up just a little bit and make a nice little get well card to go with the chicken pot pie now I'm going to put some art glitter glue in the middle of these and glue my little gems in. I hope you all have been having a good week. We've been uh, back to Georgia. That's why I didn't have a video last week. Whew, I came back. I was just exa totally exhausted. I hear puppies. Okay, so FedEx had to deliver. <laughs> That's the way it goes around here sometimes. So I think these flowers are going to be... Um, really nice on this front of this card so let's go ahead and get them glued up and I'm going to use my art glitter glue for that as well and just glue them flat down to the card this gold paper is heavyweight card stock and um, it will stand up nicely to being mailed I thought this little uh, piece of green in the paper might kind of look a little like a stem and kind of fill in your imagination that way which kind of goes with those flowers there and then I'm going to put this other little one on the inside just as an extra little flower and that quick little card now is completely finished and ready to go out the door I don't think we need anything else to go with that uh, at all. So there's the third one ready to go. Let's look at this fourth one. It's more of um, a rusty color and so on this embellishment that I made I did the basic green that you saw before on that same stamp and then I went back in with my acrylic stamping block on the grid side and I just put that right down on my stamp pad and made a stamp out of it and went right over the top of my stamped flowers and get well soon. So that's how that was made. And again, it's got this little tiny uh, bow on it. There's some foam on the back and I just cut a little ribbon. This may need to be uh, trimmed down just a little bit shorter but we'll see when we get the card put together now here in just a minute so it's the same process and on this one I don't think it makes any difference uh, which side of the card we use I'm going to tear it at three and five eighths five eighths is halfway between the three quarter inch mark and half so it makes it really easy to to find on your grid that way these little tear rulers I got uh, quite some time ago actually from Amazon and I will leave a link to those if they're still available I'm going to trim this one off and I'm not worrying so much about how wide this piece is I just want this piece to be approximately an inch and three quarters so if I can get in that ballpark, then I have 
uh, leftover scraps that I know uh, what I can do with. There you go. I'll put that in that stack over there for later this week and start gluing these down. I'm not going to trim these. I'll just trim them once I get them on the card. That's the other way to do it. And I just put the bottom edge of this piece right up against the bottom edge of the card and glue it on. I kind of check the back and make sure everything is all right and then trim it off. Easy to do. These kind of card bases are kind of fun to have a few on hand. Uh, if you're trying to use up a pack of 6x6 six six paper, this is a good way to do it if you've just got a few little sheets left that you don't really know what to do with and you don't want to store them. And of course you don't want to throw them away, but uh, this is a good way to use up some of that. Let's go ahead and get this one glued down. This is a great card if you're a beginner card maker. It also is a nice uh, note card. Um, if you wanted to make some note card gift sets, you could include several of these little types of things uh, in your set if you wanted to. And um, then the recipient could put them together. I am missing my scissors. Here they are, my little cut piece. I'm gonna cut this down just a little bit. And see, yeah, I think I like that length a little better. So I'm gonna cut this other side off as well. And all I'm doing is rolling that ribbon uh, in half and then cutting from one side to the other. Yeah, I think that's fine. Maybe just a tiny bit more off of this end here. Um, pull the backing off this foam tape. I'm going to set this at an angle. I did round the corners on this one with my um, quarter inch crocodile chompers, the quarter inch side on this one, just to kind of soften the edge of that little embellishment. So now I'm kind of thinking that these little um, glitter orange flowers might just be really cute on that. But they don't really go with that very much. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. All right, let me go back to the drawing board. Hang on, I'll be right back. I gotta go find something else to put on this card because I don't like those. I think we'll do some more paper flowers. And I'm going to make these green. I used this little scrap here and tried to do four of them. Not sure I can get four out of this scrap, but we'll see. And then I think for the center on these, I'm going to use up the rest of this little gold here. And just glue those in as the center, and they'll kind of mimic then those little gems that are in those flowers that uh, are on that embellishment that I've already got on there. In there. Now let's just see what we get. Yeah, I think those are going to be fine. Let's go ahead and get the stamping on the inside done while that dries up just a little bit. And I am going to use the same uh, green ink and the same stamp. Normally what I do with a stamp like that is I'll, I'll make a little label that says pre-stamp on it. And that way I know for sure that I have to do that. <laughs> but I will do that uh, after we get finished here. So I'm going to put a little dot of glue right here and put my inside flower on. Bringing the outside to the inside. And then I'm just going to put these three flowers over here. And in doing that, you just utilize the paper 
is the star of the show and then you just add a few embellishments to it and you have a very nice little get well card I think I'll go and add just a little bit more in on top of that gold uh, I'll put some of these little gem embellishments in there on top of those little gold centers I think it'll sparkle up just a little bit more this gold kind of tends to disappear uh, into the background just a little bit so let's try that let's see yep I think that's what does it right there and I need one for the inside also there we are okay that card's finished now and let's look at the rest of them I have looked for these little tiny flowers um, to give you all a link I got them from eBay and I've not been able to find them the last couple of times I looked for them so sorry about that but uh, this one I used some um, little stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree and these I don't remember where they came from but there's the cards for today and um, they're all finished up on the inside and ready to go so I'll send those on so that our pot pie mission has a card to go with a pot pie and I'll talk to you again soon y'all have a nice day bye bye